Qatar Energy announces a decade-long condensate supply agreement with Dubai-based Inok Group. Qatar is reportedly set to host talks to alleviate Lebanon's worst crisis in a decade. The biggest toy festival in the MENA region is on its way to Qatar. And finally, all the updates from the ongoing Arab Games. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar Energy has unveiled a 10-year-long condensate supply agreement with the Dubai-based Inok Group. The contract with the internationally recognized energy powerhouse was formally signed by both entities on Monday. Qatar Energy Chief Saad Sharid al kabi said the company looks forward to building on the historic working relationship between the two entities and the trust in Qatar's condensate exports. This is a major move to solidify ties between the UAE and Qatar, both of which announced the resumption of diplomatic relations just last month. Now, Qatar has reportedly extended an invitation to host a five-party meeting to discuss Lebanon's ongoing crisis according to Lebanese media. Lebanon has faced a crippling economic crisis that has been made worse by a power vacuum. Beirut has been unable to elect a president to replace former President Michel Aoun, whose term ended in October 2022. Qatar has made clear its hopes to help in efforts to break Lebanon's political deadlock and assist in identifying a way out of its worst economic crisis in years. However, Doha has yet to officially announce plans to host the meeting. Now, Barbie, Blippi, Coco Melon, and all Disney favorites will soon come alive in Doha. Qatar Tourism has teamed up with Space Tune to bring the region's biggest toy festival to the country. Starting from July 13th and running till August 5th, the event will see around 25 of the world's biggest toy brands taking center stage. The festival will be held at the Doha Exhibition and Convention Center and is part of the annual Field Summer in Qatar campaign. And finally, Team Qatar athletes continue to shine at the Arab Games in Algeria. The Qatari athletes now have an additional gold and three bronze medals under their belt. Ali al Akba earned a gold medal by winning the men's fencing fall event, while his compatriot Abdullah Khalifa won bronze in the same category. In the pommel horse race, talented gymnast Arakan Al Harith picked up a bronze, with Salma Hamid grabbing her own bronze in the women's parallel bars event. In total, Al Anabi have collected five gold, two silver, and six bronze medals at the 2023 edition of the Arab Games.